A troubling trend is developing in the Holy Land, new warning signs of rising Christian persecution. Christians and Jews in Israel are banding together to stamp out the growing problem. Julie Stahl has that story. Last February, vandals spray-painted blasphemous and anti-Christian graffiti on the Narkis Street Baptist House in Jerusalem. It's not the first attack there. Five years ago, someone set fire to the sanctuary, and in 1982, the previous wooden structure was burned to the ground. There are many other Christian institutions across the land who have also been attacked, and we feel that we should show solidarity with with them and, and with the Israeli leaders that um, have spoken out. Since the beginning of the year, five churches have been vandalized, but no arrests or indictments were made. While that might not sound critical, some are concerned where that could lead. I do think the um, issue uh, is serious. Uh, it's not dangerous. Israel is a democracy. There is a huge amount of freedom uh, for us as Christians in this country. But at the same time, there is a trend, uh, a growing trend of extremism, and I think this is worrisome. This type of thing could very easily escalate uh, if there's a, any atmosphere of tolerance. And it's not just the Christians who are concerned. Israeli community leaders met with Christians recently to express their solidarity. These actions shall not, we cannot tolerate them not as Jews, not as human beings, me, not as a rabbi. So we do condemn them and we do ask for your forgiveness um, for that these things happened. When you ignore things like events like this, the uh, graffiti and the rest, then for worse things are down road. Persecution, discrimination, hate crimes and God knows the rest. Israeli government official Mordecai Zakin says it's not enough to only show solidarity. We have to make sure that the police or the authorities will find those who are responsible to make sure that they will be caught and brought into trial and then continue to educate those who are responsible for these kind of things. I want them to impose a policy of zero tolerance for hate crimes and incitement. Uh, as we demand of the rest of the world around us. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Jerusalem.